Hi, I'm registered dietitian Libby Parker, and in this video I'm going to teach medical providers a simple, validated tool to screen for eating disorders when you don't have a lot of time with your patients. Now I get it, as medical professionals, you're go, go, go. So how do you quickly assess if someone has an eating disorder when they're not presenting with obvious physical symptoms or admitting they have a problem? The answer, the SCOF questionnaire. In 1999, the SCOF questionnaire was developed to give professionals a fast way to assess for anorexia or bulimia, with a false positive rate of only 12.5% for the controls. By answering yes to at least two of the following questions leads to a nearly 100% positive diagnosis of anorexia nervosa or bulimia nervosa. So ask your patients the following questions. Scoff questions are, do you make yourself sick because you feel uncomfortably full? Do you worry that you've lost control over how much you eat? Have you recently lost more than one stone or 14 pounds in a three month period? Do you believe yourself to be fat when others say you're too thin? And would you say that food dominates your life? Although the authors state that there's need for further testing to increase the validity of the scoff questions, this questionnaire has been standard in various healthcare settings for many years. In fact, you can download a sheet to take into the exam room with you with the link in the description below this video. Now it's important to note that this tool is only accurate for anorexia nervosa and bulimia nervosa. There are lots of other eating disorders out there, such as binge eating disorder and the myriad that fit under the umbrella of other specified feeding and eating disorders, such as diabulimia, which is diabetics who misuse insulin in attempts at weight loss, orthorexia, an obsession with clean or healthy eating, pica, the eating of non-food substances, night eating syndrome, which is sleepwalking eating, chewing and spitting of food rather than swallowing, overexercise, and many other variations. The SCOF questionnaire is a great starting place to open up the conversation about eating, but it should not be the end of your assessment. Eating disorder expert physicians Mueller and Anderson are very clear that when assessing for an eating disorder, that the guiding principle of a diagnosis of an eating disorder is not made by a rule-out approach of all possible medical disorders, but by the confident determination of the presence of an eating disorder through screening questions and a brief mental status examination. So to summarize, the SCOF tool is an excellent validated tool to start the conversation about disordered eating with patients. It's not the only questions and assessment you should be using. Don't forget to check out the resource in the description below so that you can have the SCOF questions at your side in the exam room without the internet. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a like and hit that subscribe button to get the latest videos on eating disorder complications, assessment, and treatment. Mm -hmm.